Juras, I have a gift for you, buddy. It's right inside this chest here, but I need you to just stand still and I'll open it up and show you it. Surprise! <laughs> oh dear, this was too funny. Do you like your present? I didn't think you would. See you later. See you later, buddy. Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome back to another Minecraft mod showcase where today we're taking a look at the Geo Chest mod which brings magical chests into your game that can move entire pieces of land and even entire worlds when chained together. It's incredible what these chests can do so let's get straight to it. So in the testing chamber over here we have a beautiful display right here. Check this out out so right here this is geodite ore and you're going to need this to craft one of the different chests that you can use to move pieces of land bases homes absolutely anything so let's just crack this open a sec and these are the chests that we're going to be using today so we've got the tiny geo chest the small geo chest the medium the large and then the huge geo chest and you're going to need one piece of geodite which you get when you mine this piece of ore right here it's very cool i think it spawns quite low in the um in the world but you can check the forum post for that but this is what you get from it right here very cool very pink and fabulous look how fabulous this ore is it's so crazy but anyway to craft one of these you're going to need to start off with a tiny chest and you need to start with a tiny chest every time you want to craft even if you want to go all the way up to a huge one you're going to need to start at the tiny one so to craft one of these you're going to need one geodite from the ore that you have just, or you would have just mined. You're also gonna need a chest, and then you're also gonna need seven pieces of carpet in a shape just like this, and it has to be white carpet. It can't be any other color to start off with the tiny chest. And then moving on up, you're then going to need a tiny geo chest in the middle, and then a geodite on top, and then you're gonna need yellow carpet to craft the small one, and you're gonna see a pattern emerging here. Look at this, you use the small one to build the medium one, then you use the medium one to build the large, and then the large to build the huge and all you need to remember is the color of the geo chest you want that's the color of carpet that you use so for example for a huge geo chest you put a large chest in the middle you then put geodite at the top which is always in the recipe and then you just put a different colored carpet around the edge but this one is black because you want the huge geo chest so we're going to try out all of these at the same time let me just whip these into my um my little inventory hot bar here and these are lots of things that i want to try so i've tried this mod out already it's really awesome but I want to try some special things so I want to try and move like a nether portal a rail track an enchanting room water mobs absolutely everything we're going to try it now and it's going to be awesome so let me start off with something simple let's just grab let's grab a bed and some dirt for now and we'll try this out just to show you how it works so say you wanted a quick place to sleep portable a portable place to sleep which is very quick in case you're getting chased by mobs you get caught in the night and you just want to quickly sleep so let's just place this here let's put a quick roof on top and we should be good to go so basically what you need is one of the chests now we're going to go for the tiny one first and you need to place it at the front of what you want to capture inside your chest so we right click with this tiny geo chest here let's put this one over here and then right click it to open up this gui now the tiny one isn't going to be able to capture all of this it's only going to be able to capture a three by three block so you can only go three high and three across so we are going to escape out of this and we're going to need to use a small geo chest so let's get rid of this one and pop this back up here and then pop down a small geo chest which should be able to capture this so as you can see we've upgraded to small and we can now use a five by five grid and all you need to do is place it in front of what I want to capture just like this and make sure it will fit which it definitely will and then we need to hit this button right here so we'll hit this and it will be sucked inside the chest did you see that that was incredible absolutely incredible let's get rid of this to avoid confusion and look how amazing this is i think we can name it as well so let's put um bed just like this and i think that will name it when it goes into your inventory so as you can see when you break the chest all of what you consumed inside the chest will be with you so as you can see look at that i named it bed so you can not get confused if you've got like multiple small chests and then say i wanted to move it over here how are you doing trails he's come to see the magic because it is mind-blowing say you wanted to move it over to here you place the chest down you open it up and then you click the bottom part here and there you go how incredible is that it's right there it's popped back up and you can then when you're done when you slept suck it back in and pick it back up again how cool is that but now we can go one step further and we're gonna go for let's try the huge one but let's test it on something 
huge because we need something huge to kind of consume into it. Now, I'm going to try it on this jungle biome over here, which I've not tested and probably won't. Well, it's not going to capture the whole thing, but I think it's got an 11 by 11 grid that you can use with this thing. And then I also need to show you a, another item, which is the geodite wand, which is very, very handy. Right, then let's pop this here. Open it up, and yeah, there we go. Look, an 11 by 11 grid. So let's see how much this will grab up. Let's go for jungle. Let's just name it jungle. And then hit this button here, and it will consume a giant part of the jungle. What this is also really handy for is mining large pieces of land. So if you just want to bring it up, and then you can just take this chest away and just throw it somewhere. Or you can just, like, get rid of it. You know what I mean? It's going to be awesome. It's a good way to mine. Right then, so we took the piece of jungle just like this and now we've got the named chest so this is an unnamed chest you can see it hasn't got the tag on it but this is a named one so we don't get confused and we're gonna move this piece of jungle outside the lab because we think we need a little bit more scenery around here i'm not sure how this is gonna work but it should be pretty sweet and then we can start testing out with other cool stuff right then here we go this is where i want the jungle to be let's plop it here and then i need to unlock this push the button and there we go We've got our own personal piece of jungle. You can make like mini biomes. I just thought of this. Say you find a mushroom biome, you could bring it home. You could bring a plains biome over here. You could bring a, a forest biome, a taiga biome. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. So that's an introduction to the chests and how they work. And then you've got different sizes. So the huge one is 11 by 11. The smallest one is 3 by 3. And the rest are somewhere in the middle. Right then. Let's see what we can grab up. So I want to try and see if we can grab a fully working nether portal. Because that means you would be able to take a nether portal absolutely anywhere with you. And I think that would be crazy good. So let's pop this up here. And then light it. Hopefully nothing comes through. And then we want to have a... We want a huge geo chest. Actually, do we? No, we don't want that. We don't want that. That's going to literally consume the whole lab. We don't want that, do we? So we need maybe a small one. Let's see if we can grab a small one from here. We need a 5x5 five five should work. It should work. Right, let's pop this here. Right click. Put nether portal. Nether P. Just like this. Click this. And it's gone. It's gone inside. Did it work? I don't know if this has worked, guys. I have no idea. So let's go and take it away and see if we can put it in the other room. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one. Boom. Oh, it worked. <gasps> whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I did not think that was going to work. That is incredible. Yes, yeah, so you can take a nether portal absolutely anywhere you like. You just break the chest and you can just have a portable nether portal. Oh my goodness, my mind is blown. Absolutely crazy. And if you think when you use the huge one, you could take an 11 by 11 structure with you anywhere, which is what we're going to try and do now. So we know we can take trees, which is another thing we we're going to test. But I want to test um, rails and also um, mobs as well, because I'm not sure if this is going to work. So let's pop in a creeper just in this little section here. Let's enclose him properly. Otherwise, we'll have him escaping into the lab, which we definitely do not want. So let's put this here, here. And here, and plop the creeper. Oh, no. I'm on peaceful. There we go. That should work. Here we go. Hey, Mr. Creeper. How are you doing, buddy? And then I want to pull up just a, a little bit of a minecart here just to see if this works. Because you could take, like, a fully working machine with you if that works. Right then. Is this an empty one? So this is an empty small geo chest. And we are going to uh, pick this up. Press the button. So let's put um, creeps as the tag. Pick him up. Oh, it doesn't pick this up. So it doesn't pick up minecarts and it doesn't pick up mobs, which is unfortunate. But we can pop this back and capture him. So you could take, you could even take like a portable cage with you and trap any mob you like. That is so cool. Right, and let's take this away. Let's break this up, break the minecart. And I guess you can stay around, old man. I guess you can. Right then, what was my next test? My next test was going to be water, lava. And then we were also going to try and make a portable enchanting room just to show you what kind of things you can take with you and how useful this mod is going to be. Right then, let's make um, five across and then a little bit across here. So we can have two little pools and see if it will capture liquid or not. So here we go. We want some water in here. Some, oh no, oh no, quick, grab a bucket, quick, before the, um, before the, um, the creeper gets burnt and very, very upset. Quick, oh my goodness. Churros, don't come in here. You will get severely, oh no, he's behind me. Churros, don't look behind you. It could be a very terrible fate if you walk into it right then. I think we're okay. <laughs> I think we're okay. All right, and let's take this. Let's get another small geo chest. Let's grab one of these and plop it here. It should be able to capture this because it's five across. Open it up. Grab it. And oh, yes, it worked. It so worked. 
Right, and let's pick this up, and it's going to be this part in our hotbar. And bring it, let's bring it in front of the jungle biome here and see if we can get it to work. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. And there we go. We ported endstone and also water and lava. Wow. Wow, so the only thing we found that it can't transport are entities, basically. So you can't take villagers, you can't take um, any mobs whatsoever, or minecarts. So I'm guessing that's pretty much all you can't take. But now I'm going to show you a very practical use for this mod. So say you have an enchanting table, but you don't want to keep going backwards and forwards. You're just about to run out of life, and you've got tons of levels you want to spend before you die. Let's just build this bad boy right here. And you'll be able to take this wherever you would like to go, and you can enchant on the go wherever you like. So let's just do this, and then we can grab um, a small geo chest, plop this inside. Um, oh dear. Oh, I switched it. How weird is that? I did not mean to do that, but it happens. So now we should, I think this is the right one, we should be able to take this away and then build a enchanting room wherever we like. And you could literally build like a house so you could keep a room in each geo chest. So if you build one of these bad boys, these huge ones, you could keep a room in each geo chest and then build rooms wherever you are. That's crazy. Right then, let's open this up and spawn in your enchanting table. Go inside and enchant whatever you like. It's so cool. It really is. Now, there's one more item that I would like to show you, which I've just remembered, which is very handy for when you're using this mod, especially to transport massive chunks of land, and that is this right here, the Geo Visualizer. So you craft this with just one stick and one geodite, and this pretty much shows you the bounding box for the chest that you have put down. So let me just put this. Let me put a large one down right here, a huge one even. Let's put one here. If we right click this chest with the geo visualizer, it will show you a bounding box when you're looking at it of what it will actually take away. So it will take away pretty much all of Treoris's office, which I will try in a sec. But then if I put, say, this one here and I wanted to chain them, you will see that these two will join up perfectly. And then you can take away this chunk of land and then put them next to each other. So if, say you named this one one and this one two, you would know where to put them to transport a whole load of blocks. So let me just turn this off, turn this off. And let's see if we can consume Treoris' offices, shall we? Let's go for office. And... Uh, <laughs> oh, it worked. It worked. Now let's put it back. Boom. Boom. And it didn't even take off all of these paintings and item frames. Could we put them back in time? This is crazy. This is such a good mod. And that is pretty much how it works. You can transport mountains. You can transport absolutely everything with this mod. And I thought it was really cool. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this mod and would like to try it out for yourself, which I'd highly recommend, then please go to the description below where you'll find the link to download it. And also, if you did enjoy this video and this demonstration, then please do leave a big, fat, juicy like. That would be greatly appreciated. And also, if this happens to be your first video that you've seen by me, then please make sure you hit that subscribe button and join team. TDM today for daily Minecraft videos and other gameplay as well. Apart from that, thank you so much for playing to Minecraft with us today, and we will see you all next time. Goodbye!